Rob Roark, We the People, on a uh, busy stretch of 123 here in San Marcos, Texas, the, uh, uh, afternoon on the 18th of January. Well, it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and you can see the traffic right now. If I were to try to cross in this area here, it would be very difficult. You can see behind me here, there really isn't a lot of area for me to walk along anyway. We don't have sidewalks, don't have a lot of improvements. And this is an area here where people do have to walk between the businesses in the neighborhoods around me. But we don't have the infrastructure. We don't have the sidewalks. And at about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock last night, while we were down at City Hall with the people that were there to protest a development that was coming in over by the university that was going to be bringing multifamily housing in, uh, to an area where you have a, an established neighborhood and people were very concerned. Uh, we had all of these concessions that were being made uh, for parkland and for improvements and we talked about doing tours and we talked about uh, you know ways that we could get this project to happen. Well, I saw a little bit later on that came across from the news desk from the city of San Marcos. There was a gentleman that lost his life, stepped right out in front of these speeding cars right behind me at about 8.45. We're still waiting to hear details from the city as to what the circumstances were. But as you can see, it would be very easy to have to walk along here in the dark, make a misstep, try to go across and not be careful. Um, maybe all you're doing is just trying to get some food, trying to go between neighborhoods, in an area where you would think you would be able to walk. Well, is this a forgotten side of San Marcos? We've heard this a couple times in discussions. It kind of is something that struck me last night that we need to be looking at within San Marcos is not just at the downtown areas and what we can do there, but imagine, just imagine if we were to put in some sidewalks and some crosswalks and we were to start looking at, wow, multifamily housing here. The problem is we're not close enough to the university. So what are we doing? This is something that was talked about last night with the master plan is that we do need to look at these areas of town as well because this is where the people can afford to live and this is where people may need to be may need to walk. But as you can hear behind me it's pretty dangerous to be where I am right now. And it was very dangerous for someone last night that lost their life. I'm Rob Rourke, We the People, San Marcos, Texas.